Hello, this is Caroline Middlebrook here. This video is part of the video version of the ebook Developing Money Making Niche Sites with WordPress. In the last video, I showed you how to install WordPress on your account using simple scripts. And at the end of that, you would have been presented with this screen, which has got a big button to lay to view your site and also shows you the administration URL. And it also gives you a username and password. Now, this is just a randomly generated password that it creates for you. Now, I've logged in. The first thing you want to do is to change that password and there are a few other little bits of basic administration you need to do. Now this is the WordPress administration screen and this is a, um, a page that you're going to become quite familiar with. I'm going to click on settings. Now, one thing I mentioned in the first video is that you can point your um, your URL for the resulting blog to be wherever you like. By default this is just going to show you here um, where you actually installed it originally. Now if you have set up a domain with um, Bluehost or whichever host that you're using, instead of this URL here you would type in the domain name and then that's where it's going to publish it to. So I'm going to leave this alone, but for example, for other blogs which I've created, I change this to, to be the domain name. Now, in order to change your password, you need to come to users, because what has happened is one user has been created for you, and here they are under admin. Click on the admin in order to be able to edit that person. You can fill out this information if you like. Now, what I do is I always keep the administrator account, but I set it up to be myself. So I'd put the first name, Caroline Middlebrook, and then once I've put those names in, another drop down appears here to be able to display it publicly as something else. So this is the way I do it. So rather than have a separate login for an administrator and myself, I am the administrator. Now for a cigar site, I'll just leave it as admin. I won't worry about filling that in. The contact information, again, this is an email address that you want to be able to use. Um, just for the user, I simply have that as my own email address. And here's the important bit, which is the password. Um, I'm just going to leave this alone for the moment for the default one, but you of course will want to change it for your own blog.